What's going on, everybody? Matt here with Patriot Comics. I have a nice comic book haul here for you today. A whole bunch of really cool Bronze Age. I can't wait to show you everything I picked up, so stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. So like I said, I just picked up a nice stack of Bronze Age comics, and I ended up getting some pretty incredible deals. I got these all off of Whatnot from a seller called House of M. I've purchased from him before, and I've always got really cool books at really good deals, so I highly recommend. Check him out if you're over on Whatnot. Uh, but let's get right into the comic book haul, because I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I did not pay more than $5 for any of these books. Uh, most of them were between 3 and $5 a piece, and I may have got a few of them for around $2. And that's pretty incredible for, you know, really good titles and Bronze Age and some like minor keys and first appearances. We're going to get right into it. But if you haven't already, definitely smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. Now let's see everything that I picked up. First book here is Amazing Spider-Man issue 189. It's not a key or anything like that, but it's a newsstand. It's Bronze Age. It's in pretty high grade and it's got an awesome cover. So uh, I think I got this one for $3, which is just amazing uh, for a $0.35 cent Spider Man book. Really happy about this one. Uh, uh, excited to add it to the collection. Uh, you know, nice looking book right there. Really cool colors. I also picked up this one here. This one's not really Bronze Age, this is more Copper Age. Uh, but this is an awesome key, and I have no idea why this book isn't worth more than it is. Uh, it's issue number 36 of Web of Spider-Man, and this is the first appearance of Tombstone. Uh, Tombstone was always such a crazy character, uh, you know, in the Spider-Man comics that I read as a kid. And he, I just feel like he's such an iconic Spider-Man villain. And this is his first appearance, issue 36. This particular copy is a newsstand, and it's in pretty high grade. I paid $5 for this book. First appearance of Tombstone for 5 bucks is uh, kind of a great deal, I think. But, uh, you know, I think this book, you know, in, in near mint condition sells for maybe as high as like $25 or $30. I feel like it should be worth so much more than that. But it's a really cool book. Unfortunately, he's like not on the cover, which I think would definitely uh, boost that value. All right, now let's get into some cool Bronze Age. How about some cool Bronze Age horror? This is Creatures on the Loose, issue number uh, 18, with an awesome cover. I just love these books. I love any Bronze Age horror. It's pretty much my my bread and butter of my collection. Uh, but this one's got a cool sea creature cover. And, uh, you know, what can I say? Just an awesome artwork. And happy to grab this one for, I think I maybe paid $4, maybe 5 Not too bad. We got another amazing cover here. Chamber of Chills, number 22. Look at this, uh, this skeleton coming out of the mirror with the razor. I mean, such a cool cover. And uh, it's, uh, you know, a 25 cent Bronze Age Marvel horror book. And it's actually in really good condition. Uh, it's got a bit of a spine roll, but I think that's like a factory uh, issue. And um, I mean, there's no spine ticks. There's no color breaks. It's a really clean copy. And I paid less than $5 for it. Not too bad at all. And I also got this one as well, issue number 24. Also in pretty high grade. It's got a little a little crease up on the corner and a couple little like spots by the staples. But another really cool outer space monster cover. Uh, I don't know. I just love these books. And I mean, I try to buy these uh, when I find them at, you know, under $10 is kind of my sweet spot for picking these books up. But it's kind of getting harder lately to find these Bronze Age horror books for less than $10. Most sellers nowadays are asking like 15, 20 bucks a piece for these kind of books, especially when they're in like a higher grade. So uh, being able to pick these up for like three to five bucks is awesome. Really cool outer space alien monster cover. Happy about this one. And let's move on to some really cool stuff here. This is a little DC horror House of Mystery, issue number 255, with an awesome Bernie Wrightson cover with this, like, creepy swamp creature and, like, a UFO in the background and the haunted house. Just a really simple yet effective cover. 
and that is a little classic Bernie Wrightson as well. So can't go wrong with that one. Happy to pick up any any kind of Bernie Wrightson artwork. So and the book is actually in really good condition. So shout out to House of M for having some nice high grade Bronze Age. Really cool. I'm extremely excited about this one. Another amazing Bernie Wrightson cover. Uh, another like Halloween cover. You have like this werewolf character with a jack o' lantern and all the little trick or treaters. I love the uh, the shadows on this cover. Really awesome artwork. Bernie writes in goodness. Uh, this is House of Mystery two fifty six. It's got like one or two little spine ticks, but besides that, it's a really gorgeous looking copy. And like I said, paid less than five dollars for it. Really really cool book. All right, some more DC horror. We have uh, Ghosts, and this is actually the special, um, you know, like a one-shot type book uh, from 1978. Um, you know, pretty good conditions. I'm, I'm just looking here. It's got a couple spine ticks, uh, but really cool cover with uh, like this tiki and this guy being like sacrificed or something crazy going on. Another really awesome artwork and cool cover and happy to pick, an up, pick up another, you know, higher grade Bronze Age horror book for the collection. Now let's move on to actually a little Silver Age here. I love the covers of these DC Silver Age books. Um, I just picked up like Spectre and I picked up some um, Secret Six. Uh, you know, they just have such amazing artwork, you know, Nick Nick Cardi does a lot of the artwork and some other amazing artists. Uh, but Sea Devils is another run that always has really cool covers. And this is issue number 28. Uh, it's got, you know, it's got a little tear and a couple little tears here and there. But just a really, really beautiful painted cover. And uh, I was excited to grab this. I think I paid like two or three bucks for this book. You know, no one, not a lot of people like the Sea Devils run, but I just love the artwork. I'm a huge fan. You know, I don't really read a lot of these particular stories, but I flip through them and I just really enjoy the artistic value. All right, here's another uh, random one here. This is actually really cool. This is Chilling Adventures in Sorcery, issue number four. Uh, just an awesome cover uh, with like this Phantom of the Opera type character here. And uh, just, a, just a crazy cover. You got the damsel in distress. Uh, this is from Fawcett Publications. Um, I think it's probably somewhere in the mid-70s or early 70s. But really great uh, cover. And uh, I think I paid a dollar or two for this one. You know, people don't really... I feel like not a lot of people appreciate, you know, the, uh, the non-Marvel and DC Bronze Age stuff. I absolutely love it. I know a lot of people out there love it as well. I get a lot of comments when I show like the Charlton books that I pick up and like the other kind of random, uh, unique and obscure Bronze Age stuff. Uh, you know, I a lot of people do appreciate it, but I feel like it's a little more underappreciated than, uh, you know, like the classic Marvel and DC stuff. So anytime I find these for good deals, I always grab them. I find stuff like this in dollar bins all the time. And like I said, I think I paid a dollar or two for this one over on Whatnot. So not too bad at all. Now we're getting into some of the last books here, and I am super excited. This is actually one of my favorite Bronze Age runs. Um, it's a very short run. I think there's only six or seven issues and I'm trying to complete it, but these books are extremely hard to find. Uh, I, I think I only have, I have issue one. I don't know. I might have like three or four issues, um, but I never find them. I, I can order them off eBay, but they're usually way overpriced and they're usually in horrible, you know, ratty condition. Uh, this book right here, I needed this one for the run. Issue number four, uh, of course, this is Knight Rider, which is the original Ghost Rider, the Western Ghost Rider. Uh, I just love this character, Carter Slade. Uh, just such a cool uh, Western, uh, you know, kind of Western meets horror meets, uh, you know, mysterious kind of character here. I just, I just think it's so cool. And the artwork is awesome. Such a cool looking character. Uh, but like I said, I never find these, especially never in high grade. This book is really sharp. Uh, there's like a little chip here, uh, a little kind of couple little mini 
spine ticks. But honestly, this book is one of the cleanest ones I have uh, in this run. Uh, maybe my number one is actually almost a near mint copy, but but I never find them in high grade. So happy to grab this. I think I paid like five bucks, but still, I'd pay at least 10 for this book. It's really sharp, and I love this run. So happy to grab this one and add it to the collection. All right, and then the last little set of books here, I got Beware the Claws of the Cat. Uh, super cool book. Um, I uh, This is actually a small run, too. It's only four issues. Uh, and I only had one of the issues in my collection, and then I saw these, and I got all three of these books for $9. So, three bucks a piece. When I see these at comic shows and comic shops all the time for at least $10 or $15 a piece, and these are all, like, high grade. No spine ticks, you know, maybe a little bit of, like, foxing where it's on the white part of the cover. Just a little tiny bit, a little staining. Uh, but no spine ticks, no big chips or anything. Gorgeous looking books. Uh, this is issue number four. Really cool cover. You got Man Bowl on there. We have issue number three. Kind of a crazy looking cover. You got the cat caught in the net here. Really, really cool. And of course, we have issue number two. Very awesome cover with the owl. Uh, I just I just love the artwork. And I think, uh, you know, the character is really cool and... You know, I was just really excited to pick these up, and I couldn't believe I got them for $3 a piece. Issues number two, three, and four. So I actually already had this one. I brought this one out of the collection. I have issue number one already. So that completes the set. Issue number one, which is the first appearance of the cat. And then we have issue number two, issue number three, and issue number four. The entire run of this little mini series, which I am so excited to have all four in the collection now. So that is just so cool. But uh, that's everything I picked up over on Whatnot from House of M. Uh, really cool seller. Always great deals. He does $1 starts on his auction. Uh, the shipping, I think, is like 5 or $6. And, uh, you know, the more you buy, the better the deal when it comes to shipping. So I got a nice little stack of books, some keys, some Bronze Age goodness, some classic horror, some Bernie Wrights in, and I completed a whole mini series of a really cool Bronze Age run that I was excited to finally have part of my collection. But that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this comic book haul. Definitely smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more content just like this, I do lots of comic book hauls and I go out in the wild hunting for comics at different shows and antique shops and comic book stores and all over the place. So if you enjoy content like that, hit the subscribe and ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, folks, I'll see you on the next one. And I almost forgot that for making the purchase, he threw in this AXE Judgment Day issue number three. This is a one in 50 variant. Uh, it had like a $15 price tag. It's a one in 50. And he threw it in for free just for buying stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Shout out to House of M. Awesome guy and, you know, really great prices. And he threw in a free one in 50 variant cover. Pretty amazing.